What up, fam? We got bunch of truck cutting them in. I had to start over because uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't have enough storage on my on my uh, on my camera, you know man. HDR 10 plus, you know man. But uh, yeah, you might hear some noise in the background. I'm doing some laundry at the same time, you know man. Trying to kill two birds with one stone, you know what I mean? Move it up, move it up, you know man. Got to multitask, right? So this is an unboxing of uh, unboxing uh, of um, of. Uh, circular saw right so I say all that to say this um, so I'm just going straight in you know what I mean I'm just going straight in I got some notes with me sometimes I might uh, go on tangents but I get everything to keep me back on track you know what I mean as I get more focused um, you focus on one thing and you try to hone on, on just the message even though you might have more information you don't want to necessarily discuss that but if I want to get back to it I'll make a note of it so it's a work in progress right so uh, this one's gonna this is basically uh, it's basically what I'm gonna do now also is uh, shut out Microsoft you know what I mean um, for uh, this, this uh, allowing this um, this next link for um, for uh, it's called Clipchamp where you can uh, upload um, a video and just transcribe the audio. So I'm gonna to try to take the audio from this and uh, put it on the plat podcast. So just the audio will be from here. This is gonna be for the vlog on, um, on the YouTube channel and uh, the video, the visuals with the audio. But the audio is gonna be transcribed to all streaming platforms, right? So I'm able to do that with this uh, clip chat. From Microsoft, shout out, shout out uh, for the link. You know what I mean? Uh, so the title of this uh, podcast, aka slash vlog, is uh, is basically a long title. That's why I wrote it down because it's a bit, of, it's a mouthful, pretty much. You know what I mean? So economics one on one, real estate planning and design, affordable housing, chapter one. Right. So the title is economics one on one, real estate planning and design. Affordable housing chapter one, right? Again, uh, I hear some noise, but I think it should be okay with the not too much noise. Anyway, yeah, so people ask, well, how do you just go straight in and have a whatever, you know, how do you go straight in without whatever, right? Because I know what I want to say, right? I have something I want to say. Once I'm finished saying what I got to say, I cut off, right? It would be much harder if you have nothing to say and you jump on here, right? It's way easier if you have something to say, right? So uh, that's why. So I make sure, and sometimes you have a lot of things you want to say, right? So I got to make sure, okay, I got to either, you know, so I write it down, right? You don't, if you have one thing, it's easier. We have a lot of things you want to say at the same time. You got to manage that, right? And to not have anxiety and have stress. And I also don't get on here and have a free for all. Okay, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to discuss? Right? And let everybody chime in, say whatever, say whatever they want to say. Because now when you say the wrong thing, you can get uh, penalized for that, right? I mean, I mean, to each his own, right? I, I don't want, I don't want problems just from saying something that I don't, I, I don't have uh, any information about. But if I'm talking about this topic, and someone wants to complain or argue about what we're talking about, that's fine. I don't mind that. At least I know what I'm expect, know what to expect. It's about this. I don't know anything about that much about home tools and stuff, right? So I'm learning as I go. So someone might say, hey, by the way, you shouldn't open it like that. You should do this. That's fine. I'll take, I'll, I'll take the constructive criticism, right? But definitely it's something that at least I know what I'm talking about, right? I have, or I have some interest in it anyways, right? So, affordable housing, right? So why are we discussing affordable housing? Right? So I'm just listening. You have to be aware, even though we're doing the podcast, things are still happening on time. I, yeah, the thing I was going to say about this too is um, sometimes people will, will do these vlogs and they spend so much time editing and undoing and not being happy. It should not be an unhappy process. Once it becomes, it becomes feels like a chore, you're unhappy doing it, you shouldn't do it, right? You sh your mental health is the number one thing that you should be focusing on, right? So I don't have to spend all so much time editing and doing this stuff. I know what I'm, I know what I'm here to say. I'm saying that, and I'll, and I'll be out. Obviously, if I go on tangents, 
I might say things that are inappropriate for certain people or certain demographics or say things that, are, that aren't uh, related to the subject matter and people don't like it, they might get mad, right? But that's okay, right? I'm not here to focus on that. I'm focusing on unboxing this, uh, this tool here and the topic is affordable housing. So that's my main focus. If someone wants to ask about personal issues or other things and I see something that they don't like, well, that's, that's on them, right? They can be unhappy. There's many things that, you know, people do that they don't like. You can, you can easily unfollow or you can block or whatever. I mean, you don't have to go on the channel, right? So let me just get back to this, right? So, so here's the um, circular sum. Just unboxing it. So the reason why I'm talking about affordable housing, right? It all starts with self, right? Affordable housing, right? my title, my notes, right? It's all part of economics, real estate, planning and design, real estate, homes, buildings, right? Affordable housing. Why do I call it, what's my take on affordable housing, right? Being able to fix stuff yourself, right? Doing this yourself, right? It cuts down on labor. You can, you can fact check me, but my understanding, a home, so much time I have left. A home, I also have food cooking upstairs. Six minutes in, we're all right. I got 20 minutes left. So a home, half the building of a home is, um, is labor. If you pay $1 million for a home, a million is in labor, right? Labor is people, manpower, woman power, whatever, people, bodies there to build the house, right? So I still have to say this. If the man in the household or woman in the household or, you know, someone in the household sh should be able to fix a doorknob, right? Uh, a doorknob, right? Uh, uh, a door, right? You should be able to put a door together. Someone in the household, right? Either the mom or the dad or, right? They should, someone should do it. So, I still, and I say that to say this too, right? If you or your partner cannot fix a doorknob, you shouldn't be together, right? Now, even that statement, someone said, well, you know, whatever, right? I, I was even going to take a chance and say, if none of you can be able to fix a doorknob, you should not be in the same bed together, right? You shouldn't be having a relationship if none of you can fix. Now you're going to potentially bring a, a new person into the world, a child into the world, right? You can't fix a doorknob, neither of you. And you're not going to raise a child and bring him in society? I guess it can be done, right? You have to leave it up to the state or the province to take care of the child, right? Because you, I don't know, if you can't fix a doorknob, I'm not saying everyone needs to be able to. <coughs> the husband, the breadwinner, or the mom, somebody should be able to fix those things. Like, I'm not saying electrical, I'm not talking about plumbing, right? Minor things, someone should be able to fix around the home, right? Otherwise, you're hiring contractors to come in to do all those kind of things. So that's why I'm talking, we're talking about affordable housing, right? Affordable housing. If you got the money, whatever, right? You're good, you're born into a family where everything is, is copacetic and you can, whatever you can afford to have. But it's, there's, something, there's something nostalgic about being able to fix things yourself, right? But let me open this anyway, right? I think I'll sit down about that. So just, you know, be careful who, you, who your friends are. So, okay, so I guess I'm just unboxing it, right? This is the tool, right? It's not going to be that long of a video, so, yeah, so, it's not really, I'm not getting paid to, uh, DeWalt is not paying me to promote this product, like, they're not really, 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 I mean, Celestia is the support, you know I mean, Celestia is the number one support system, that's what I'll say, right, I'm not getting, this is not free, I bought this with my own money, you know what I mean, like, no one's, you know, it's not free, but you know what, like, it's, there's, there's support, you know what I mean? I wouldn't be here today if I didn't have support, you know what I'm saying? So I thank everybody for for showing love, you know what I mean? Keep doing your thing, you know what I mean? Don't stop, you know what I mean? So here it is. I know it's a very bad, uh, very bad first, uh, yeah, so this is, a, it's, it's a basically a circular saw, right? And you can go and buy these things used, right? You can buy them used, or you can buy them brand new, pay extra for brand new, but I don't really know that much what I'm doing with these kind of saws, so I don't want to go take a chance and get something used. 
first of all, it's not plugged. There's no battery attached to it right now. There's no battery. It's a brushless one. How much time do I have left? How much time? Let me get a better view. You know what I'm saying? It's far away. Right? Okay, I have 35 minutes. But I'm just saying, right? Circular saw. You do stuff around the house, right? Be safe. Be safe, right? I'm just, be safe with these things. It's not toys. You know what I'm saying? Be safe. Like, I'm already thinking, like, because the blade, this the blade's right here, right? The blade's right there. goes on here. When I'm cutting, I'm cutting this way. So the blade is going to be, it's not going to be cutting like this, right? I'm not going to be cutting like this. You know what I'm saying? I already know that, right? And the good thing is you can cut with both hands. So I'm cutting like this, right? My body's, the blade is here. The blade is on this side. You know what I'm saying? My pants sag because I wrapped my ass off. You know what I'm saying? But the blade is this way. You know what I mean? Like this way, the blade is, is rotating this way, right? And I'm going to be cutting like this. But we'll figure something out, right? But you got to be safe. It's got some mechanisms. I'm not going to start using it before I watch YouTube. It's my first time. And it's the smallest one. It's the smallest circular saw. But I'm saying somebody's got to be doing this, right? The gal them, you know what I mean? If you don't, if your man can't do, holla at me, holla at me, you know what I mean? Holla at your boy, you know what I mean? Holla at me. I got you, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying girls should go and take, I mean, you should, it's fine if you can do it. It's all good. I mean, I love it that them gals that can, can handle the business on these kind of, kind of tools, right? But if you can't, get with somebody who can, right? So you fun gals, holla at me, you know what I mean? I'm saying I'm, 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 I'm safe. I'm not going to be operating this on, on, a, on, a, on a, my, my mind liberated, right? And you do shit around the house yourself, right? You know, obviously, you check electrical, you check stuff before you start doing stuff, right? But that's why you have to keep on learning and learning and growing with this stuff, right? You read the instructions, you be safe with it, and live long, you know what I mean? Obviously, the blade has to be secured. But it's a circular saw. Now you can just, you know, install cabinets. Another thing too, right? Right? This is the cutting, but right? building, building affordable housing, doing stuff yourself. It makes things affordable, right? So it comes with a, yeah, the vacuum thing. So you can attach the vacuum to it. Um, some kind of, uh, make sure you go straight. Or up, you know what I mean? Like a thing you put on the side. You can tell what it is, right? If I put it somewhere, what, right here, right? Right, they're right there, right? So you make sure you go straight along the line. I'm just saying, a lot of this shit is intuitive, right? It makes sense, right? You think about just certain things and you keep going. The blade's there, right, ever, right? And, but what I was saying, like one, this, I guess this is my last thing right here, right? If you know, you know what this is, right? This is a building code. If you're religious, you have a Bible, and you have, okay, if, or if you're religious, you have a Bible or a Quran or the Talmud, the Torah, if you're religious, right? So I believe if you're serious about housing and um, housing reform or um, or um, affordable housing, if you're serious about it, you gotta have this. Now this is a building code, obviously for the province that I'm in, Ontario, but you can get building codes for your state or your city, right? It's two big manuals, two thick ass, you know what I mean? You, you should have that. I'm not saying you have to at least have it, right? If you're religious, you have those books. I mean, I guess it could be argued you could be religious and not have any holy book in your house. That's an argument that could be made, right? But I'm saying, like, most people who claim, let's just say, religion have a holy book that they refer to once in a while, right? Some more than others, right? So same with the housing. Everyone should have this. It's a, it's a two thing book. But it doesn't matter how much it costs. You can get it online, used, or whatever. But it's two big books. Uh, affordable housing. You should have, everybody should have this for your homes. I don't want to equate it to any holy book or try to disrespect anybody. But I'm just saying it should be also along right with the house, you know, in your, in your place where you can have as a reference quick access, right? It talks about, I don't want to get into a content of this, but it's basically all the codes for the city. Like what, when, when you're going to do a, we're digging and this type of wood you have to use in a certain area. But you refer to it, like you refer to it regularly when you're doing just, you know, friend or whatever, right? Or however. But it's just the code, right? It's the code. And you have to adhere to it, right? When you're talking about housing and, right? Building code, buildings, right? Buildings or housing is a building. So if you're going to be having a topic about building code, I don't want to, uh, you know, dig too much into this, but you're going to have a topic about building codes. Or buildings, you should have that those books available, right? So I think I can leave it at that, right? 
So you build slowly but surely and don't stop, you know what I mean? Keep doing your thing, right? And keep going, you know what I'm saying? Keep going. Work with stuff, right? And keep building, keep building, don't stop, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta have some strength, because this stuff is pretty, like a, right? You gotta have some physical, right? Ergonomic, wireless, right? And you do your stuff, you can both hands, right? With your left hand, whatever. But you gotta watch your body, you gotta, you gotta watch how things work, right? Watch a couple of YouTube videos on the stuff, right? Right? Watch a few videos. Watch, you know, look at the design. Look how it's built. Look, don't play games with the stuff, right? Don't play games with very serious stuff. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, right? I mean, life is a game, right? I mean, I could be, shit could happen to me working on my house doing stuff, right? Or I could be at the club and shit could happen to me, right? I'm just saying, either way, shit's going to pop off, right? But how is it, what, which way, right? What's it going to look like, right? So stand on business and do your shit, you know what I mean? Yo, it's all love, man, you know what I mean? So I think I can end it there. I'll post this, takes a while to upload, right? But I'll leave it at that, you know what I mean? Be safe always. I think I said everything I want to say for now. So um, keep growing, right? Bless up, love. Bless ya. Ja. One, you know what I mean? Stay quiet unless it's something that you need to say. And I mean, don't just be jumping on talking and let people guide your conversation whichever way they want to guide it. Have, when you have something to say, have a purpose while you're saying it. And then when you've done saying what you want to say, peace out. You know what I mean? Love. One.